hello everyone welcome to my channel today we will doing a small project where we can uh, copy the data from uh, one excel sheet to the other excel sheet uh, we will try we will uh, do this uh, project in two ways in first case we will first copy uh, from one excel to other excel where both the excel uh, was created by us and in second approach we will uh, do uh, the first excel uh, which was created by us and the destination or the output excel will be auto generated from our python script and it will simultaneously copy all the data from excel 1 to the generated excel sheet so let's begin So first of all we have to create a new python file for this one. We will going to name it as excel to excel. Okay. So you you will see our python file was created excel to excel.py. Now for uh, reading the excel uh, we have to create one excel sheet where we we have to put some our data. So for that first let's create some one excel sheet we will give it as a name as excel underscore input and make sure its format will uh, is uh, excel sx okay and uh, let in let put some dummy data inside this excel like uh, an whatever data you will choose integer string or anything like this so we are putting some random values we will save this excel now we have to close this one now first uh, we have to import our module using which we are uh, reading and writing or creating this excel sheet so for that first approach is our importing open py excel module so for this project we will we are using this open py excel module so as this module is already installed in my pycharm so no need to install it again so for uh, if you want to see how to install different packages then there is a separate video of mine which is open by excel module as alias name will be excel now next step is the opening the source excel file which we created initially now we have giving a name which is file name and we have to give uh the address uh, path for that file name so in that case we save this in desktop so uh, this is our file excel underscore input so we have to copy this address text and paste it here stop excel underscore import dot excel sx so we are opening this as uh, excel sheet in read format so we have to provide this syntax 
now after opening this uh, source excel file we have to read whatever uh, content inside it present inside it so for that we will name it as a workbook one and we will load workbook which workbook we will load whatever we save in this file name the file name contain the location or the path so after that we have to provide the worksheet active sheet so that we will read from that uh, excel sheet inside that workbook which is workbook 1 worksheets and 0 after that our step will be opening the destination excel file now this is our first approach where we have to create the destination excel file also so in that case we will create one excel file with the name excel let's go output so we have to give this address as well so we will name it as a save it as a file name one and its address will be the same we created in the same location but with different name so to provide the proper name so this destination excel file is also created and we already uh, save it in the desktop now same way we have to open this workbook also for that we will uh, write whatever read from the source excel file so for that case we have to use the same command and file name we have to read from file name 1 in this case and for worksheet 2 active worksheet 2 we have Now we have to calculate, calculate the total number of rows and columns in our source excel file. So for that we will name it as a MR which is maximum row from worksheet 1 max row so these are the command from available from this open ui excel module In this case we have to read the maximum column now whatever data we after calculating the total number of rows and column we have to copy the sale value from source excel file to destination excel file for that copying the sale value from source excel file to destination so for that we have to keep on checking the every single cell present in that excel sheet which is for i in the range one is the initial position for maximum row we have to do it like mr plus one because our index is starting from zero position so for column calculation we have to write another for loop for j in range 
one comma starting arrangements this was the initial location which is one index one and then it will look for maximum column plus one now reading cell value from source excel file so we will save it in a separate variable which is c on worksheet 1 what we will going to read we will going to read cell row equal to i colon column column equal j now whatever we write read from this source excel sheet we have to write the same to our destination excel sheet so write the read value destination excel file ws2 dot cell we are going to read the row dot value dot value now we have to save our destination excel sheet saving the destination excel file so workbook 2 we have to save the save is the inbuilt command and what we are going to save we will going to save the save on the same location which is our file name one is for the destination address so our code is complete now we will see i will show you the, both the excel now this is our input excel which has some data and in our excel output this excel is blank now when we run this code run this excel to excel we forget to put a colon here so we will try to run it again excel to excel sorry for that so when we run this code now you will see our excel output whatever data is available in excel 1 is copied in excel so if we change suppose if i am going to change this data like 110 1000 10000 Five triple two and save this one. And if we, if I try to read again, run this code again, our code executed successfully. Now, if you open this Excel output, you will see the data is copy from source Excel sheet to the destination one. Okay, so this is the approach one. Now for approach two. Now for approach two, what we have to do in this case, we will not going to uh, generate the Excel sheet. We will going to 
create the excel sheet by the script itself so in that case uh, let's suppose name it as a excel output underscore auto the excel will create in the same location so if you see this desktop location there is no excel present with the name excel underscore output underscore auto so for this we have to do some minor changes in our script so these these things will be remain at easy because we first we have to import the module then we have to opening the source excel file then we have to uh, our destination excel file location uh, path is already defined now we have to creating the destination excel file and instead of uh, workbook load we have to use the command as workbook this one workbook with a but keep in mind this uh, this w is the capital one because there is one more uh, one more co one more e uh, workbook is there this one this workbook is the other one it, it, it is not that file one it is uh, so for that excel file you have to use this one capital w or k we double okay workbook and we don't we need to give the file name one here so and this workbook should also be active because until and unless you make the workbook active you will not able to read or write from that excel sheet so this thing will be same now after that oh, we have to calculate the maximum number of rows and column in the source excel file and then copy the excel file from source to destination now everything will be remain as it is now when we run this code yeah, our code executed successfully now if you see the path you will see this excel is created automatically by our script you open this excel sheet so you will see whatever data is available in input excel sheet is copied in our destination excel sheet suppose if i again modify some data like this it will again and you should try to if you delete this excel output excel sheet and if you run this code again then you will see it will again created this excel output underscore auto excel sheet and if you open this excel sheet see it will copy whatever data present in excel one to our destination excel sheet so these are the two approach you can use for some simple project where you have to copy the data from one excel sheet to another excel sheet thank you